children of set you got here we stand om shanti for this special class by our beloved royal tiri ji we would like to welcome on behalf of all the australian family the bouquet of flowers thank you from the jungles of sri lanka <laughs> and today didi ji is going to enlighten us on the topic of clear recognition realization and renunciation as we are hearing in this session of baba samurli son tapasya this will definitely make our intellect open and we will make more effort so didi is here to enlighten us so didi i don't want to waste much time over to you now om shanti we call baba our beloved my baba but many times those who say baba 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 mama etc they haven't really recognized baba so first we have to experience baba or realize then through little renunciation we recognize because until we give up tamo pradham diet smoking drinking and sex there is not proper yoga or realization or recognition do once we have few months of yoga it's easy to renounce everything what we have to renounce sometimes takes away few souls from gyan and baba first and foremost we have to renounce our sleep wake up early in the morning amrat vela renounce all vices even subtle vices renounce to desire possessions position name fame etc renounce tamo pradhan food onion garlic cigarette alcohol drugs renounce bad company renounce waste renounce wasting time money energy and especially looking at others thinking about others listening to the opinion of others because we are different from society so people will defame us criticize us laugh at us 
So we have to renounce the opinion of public. So once we have recognized Baba, renunciation takes time. But once we renounce everything, the faith becomes firm. And then the soul will not be influenced by the opinion of others and will not give up the hand of Baba. Now the questions are give us the relationship between recognition, realization, and renunciation. All are related to each other. Unless we have realized there is not proper recognition and unless we recognize and realize Renunciation is difficult. Second, in recognizing Baba, we are number wise. From Mama Baba, Dadis, seniors, and new Brahmins. Why the number is created when knowledge is for the same for everybody? Is that of because of karma? Any subtle vices or other reasons? Even in logic studies, Students are always number wise. The reason being not enough concentration. Second, not determination to renounce weaknesses and vices. And Especially subtle vices, laziness, carelessness, that will not allow us to move forward. Next question is, what is blocking BKs in recognizing Baba as is and what is even after completing seven days course? What are the signs that souls have really recognized and realized Baba? The reason why we are not able to recognize Baba is deep-rooted bhakti sanskars. Secondly, not willing to follow Srimad, especially purity. Addiction. Smoking, drinking, drugs. And especially when company is such that bad company, the friends who are smoking and drinking, they will 
influence the soul. When the soul has recognized Baba, will immediately follow all Srimat, Maryadas, routine of BK life. Next question is feeling the pulse of souls who come in contact with us. What yuktis can Didi give us so that we don't waste our time unnecessarily with discussions? We have to feel the pulse, seeing whether soul is listening and agreeing with whatever is told. The face will reveal his interest. If he is not interested, the mind and eyes would be wandering here and there. They might be yawning, dozing, etc. Next is, Baba usually say in the Murli to follow Mamma and Baba. How did they recognize Baba? Realize the truth and renounce old Shudra life. Please give us Yukti that we can practically follow Baba and Mamma in BK life, especially in Tamo Pradhan Iron Aged world now. Maya is so powerful nowadays. What should we do? Mamma and Baba also followed all these Srimat and Maryadas in Iron Age. They were in Iron Age. Ours is easy Gyan and Yoga. We are in Sangam Yoga. Brahma Baba was prepared by Shiv Baba in this last birth. He was a great devotee, very honest, very creative, good businessman. And Baba gave him three visions. He was a chariot. So he realized the truth. And it was easy for him to renounce Shudra life. Mama had divine intellect and she recognized and renounced. She was a very good student even in her school and in godly school.
she had deep love for morally faith in baba and respect for bap dada i recognize baba when i listen to the magical experience of dadi so once there is realization it's easy to renounce everything even in iron age or sangam next is many of the baba's children recognize baba with their intellect clearly they are very informative of all aspects after saying baba baba then they leave and come back and yet don't make that much effort they fluctuate and don't enjoy brahman life how can we help them to recognize and realize our sweet baba if someone leaves baba or gyan it means they haven't recognized baba 100% or they are not able to follow purity so to help them we need to give them experiences of few babas children how they got real help from bab dada or share the experiences of dadis from history of yagya next question is even though there is realization there is no transformation we have realizations on what we have to transform but unable to transform completely and later repenting for it where are we careless in bringing about transformation renunciation of shudra sanskars after realization after realization and recognition if soul is not able to transform completely it means he is not making good efforts or having intense yoga amrit vela and not determined to change lack of will power next question is 
when we understand and accept the reality truth of situation does realization happens through intellect or heart that is feeling how is baba involved in this realization realization happens through mainly intellect and being introverted and checking one needs honest clean clear intellect to recognize baba next is i am mostly busy in my lokik job but never miss amrit vela in morli but whenever i have free time i get pulled by impure pictures movies in media i watch them and later recognized it spoils my intellect and keep remembering it during yoga so i have realization to stop that habit but it was temporary only looks like i thought i renounce it but i keep watching it and i feel like a slave to it what shall i do to renounce this bad habit bad habit or addictions are difficult to give up one needs determination and one has to disconnect that internet side baba always says keep yourself busy in gyan yoga and seva or karma yoga so create your interest in exercise swimming sports gardening and keep yourself mentally and physically busy in gyan as baba says be swadarshan chakradari revise morli churn morli etc by spinning the cycle of self realization it makes us to take no sorrow or give sorrow can we really be liberated from up unhappiness in this way by being sudarshan chakradhari we are keeping ourselves away from negative thoughts 
past sorrowful in, uh, instances and keeping mind busy. And also we are aware that tomorrow we will be in golden age. So we turn on golden age and there would be intoxication, no sorrow at all. Next, can you explain the difference between knowing what Baba says in the Morley, having awareness, realizing and becoming embodiment of it? It's easy to understand the morally or knowledge, but becoming a body of knowledge, it takes determined effort and yoga power. So we have to be paying attention checking ourselves about dharana of the morally points. Because in our early days, what we used to do is from morally, take out jnana points, yoga point, dharana point, seva point. And throughout the day, churn knowledge point, Pay attention to yuktis for yoga, paying attention to the dharana point of the day and do the seva on the same day. Then naturally we used to get power because immediate following Baba's direction can help us to receive success easily. Next is after 20 years in Gyan, I just had some doubts. If I ha really have renounced all forms of vices, how can can I recognize and realize this and have a feeling of renunciate? If you have renounced vices, your yoga will be good. You will be feeling happy and your actions would be charitable. You will never experience sorrow or give sorrow to anyone. We have seen sometimes there is non-cooperation of BKs due to small desires. But say 
but they said that it was their pure desire this in due time created flashes of sanskars and interruption in service how can we help them to recognize and realize that those are limited desires we should see the history of yagya nadis came from different background they had different sanskar but their gyan and yoga foundation was very deep so they had so much harmony but presently most of the brahmans as soon as they come in gyan rather than focusing on self service they focus on serving others and they are not strong and have harmony there may be subtle desires name fame position etc but if there is that awareness i am just instrument it baba's service i have to cooperate with everyone for baba's service then we can come together and help baba and transform the world so it's baba's unlimited service we have to be unlimited renunciation no desires for anything name fame position etc next question is i am a mother with three teenage daughters and we never miss morley classes via zoom or come to the center however my three daughters are so fashion conscious and love to watch media movies and sometimes get obsessed by the actors fashionable clothing their father who is not in gyan but have no objection to our bk life sense lots of expensive latest fashionable clothes from foreign country as a mother how should i tactfully handle them so that they recognize and renounce this maya teenage time is a difficult time where big kids children either give up gyan or become very strong maya is such 
so the mother should lovefully advise the girls to use that time in a worthwhile way so she should organize to sit with them chan morning morely revise morely sit together in meditation don't force them otherwise they may react and leave ya sit and read adi dev adi devi yagya history avyakt morli revise teenage girls would be fashion conscious so let them do it don't force them it's not so harmful as watching movie final question is we receive pure drishti from bap dada dadis and didis and center instruments etc during meditation conducted from the stage in what way is baba involved in drishti and how can we recognize realize our weak sanskars from such pure drishti and renounce our weak sanskars forever baba is just karan karavan ha giving power to dadis didis and instruments through drishti baba is power house everybody else on the stage are just instruments what one needs to do is introspect oneself honestly during meditation and have powerful determination to renounce weak sanskars of the soul so it's mainly my effort to renounce my old sanskars om shanti thank you didi there are some questions in the chat uh, question number 1 in a reason murli baba said science means to let the past be the past and put a full stop what does this mean mainly we have to be observer of the drama see the part of everyone and give full stop to the past because when full stop is not powerful naturally people will be having waste thought so silence power can help us 
to put full stop and we can be really silent. Okay, Didi, thank you. Second question. Can Didi give practical examples on how to use the power of silence to change something bad into something good? Mainly good wishes and pure feelings will help to change people from bad to good. Because if I think this person is bad, that means I am not having good wishes. I am just observing that person and seeing that present sanskar. But I have to remind myself, I am a world benefactor. I have to bring benefit to this soul. Okay, and the other one, mm, in spite of listening to Murli daily, we react to any situation. Does it mean our old sanskars emerging? Can you repeat? In spite of listening to Murli daily, we react to any situation. Does it mean our old sanskars emerging? Yes, emerging. Yeah, emerging. Emerging, not merging. <laughs> uh, yes. Listening to Morley every day is good. But to become embodiment of Baba's teaching takes lots of strength. And so what we have to do is have yoga power, determination to renounce old sanskars. Because even if they are hiding inside somewhere, they will emerge anytime. And that's why it means we haven't completely destroyed them. Mm -hmm. Baba says, old sanskars, you have to burn them and throw in ocean of knowledge, Baba. Then only you can completely transform yourself. Okay, Didi. And sometimes some BKs realize or renounce some things through regretment. But that is not the right way. So how can we renounce easily without Regretment. The sanskars, if they are not renounced naturally, that is regret. And that's why in order to renounce all sanskars, we have to have such a powerful seed stage yoga and determined thought. K 
keep on checking whether those subtle sanskars are still there because unless we honestly check ourselves we may not realize that we still have those old sanskars and in difficult time they will emerge also once baba said there should be sincere repentance please elaborate on this lady mamma's speciality was she would never repeat the mistake again and what we have to do is to have such a powerful thought of not doing any mistake that is like last question transform our old sanskars completely with tapasya then we won't have to repent or regret okay didi and uh, there is one advice simple question lately i am having dreams that i am in a subtle region and another dream like i was sitting with dadis and my body is showing some allergic reaction to certain types of vegetables can didi advise on this please she might be having allergy to something and that's what she is dreaming so if she is having allergy naturally she has to avoid and if she doesn't know which vegetable she is allergic to there are tests done in laboratory as what you are allergic to but if you don't have any reaction to any type of food then don't worry okay it's just a dream okay didi there's one more question how to serve others without bringing iness in when you are explaining to someone first tell yourself baba is karan har i am just karan har baba's instrument so baba is doing service through me not me so keep baba all the time in your interaction with anyone and everyone didi i don't get angry easily but when i get angry with someone immediately i speak hard words towards them how can i renounce that habit of reacting immediately don't react immediately when you are angry sit down tell yourself i am peaceful so so meditate for a minute or two and when you are 
peaceful then whatever you want to say or advise give advice at that time okay didi once baba said there will be mirror of palace so please elaborate on that what is it mirror of colors yes it's written in chat box mirror of palace who has is uh, one brother nahi nahi baba says or he, he baba thinks baba said there will be mirror of palace please elaborate on that i don't remember <laughs> to have heard from baba that that will be mirror of colors he has said that there will be visualization of your vikarma during your dharma raj punishment what vikarma you have done and what is the punishment for that so before giving punishment baba will show us what we have done when we have done and why we are getting punishment okay and last one what to do what to do with souls who betrayed you and recruiting others to hate you as well i think you forgive them thinking it was your karma you have cleared that karma with that soul and have good wishes for all of them by maintaining good wishes you will create good relationship with them we have come to the last minute of time so we will finish with didi's powerful drishti thank you didi thank you om shanti